Hi guys and welcome to another video. Uh, it's been a while since my last video so apologies to my subscribers. Uh, you know how it is. Life just gets in the way sometimes. YouTube is a hobby for me and it's not always easy to find the time to do this. Right so today we're going to look at my 36mm Smith's collection. Um, it's a year, just over a year on. Uh, I've had this one uh, 10 months now I think. The rest have been over a year. Um, so it's just time for a quick recap, thoughts, um, why did I buy four of, the, of such a similar watch and um, how do I feel about them a year later on. So um, the one, the reason I got into Smiths in the first place was somebody posted uh, the Air Ministry on Reddit and I thought that it was a stunning watch. Uh, I have six and a half inch wrist so I'm always interested in smaller watch cases. These are 36 millimeter um, so I had to pick one up. And I really, really like this watch a lot. Um, of the four, it's probably, if I were going to sell one, it would probably be this one. And the reason is really nitpicky. Um, but when I, you have four such wonderful watches, um, the flaws in any t t jump out a bit. And my problem with this watch is that the hour hand is probably a bit too long it very nearly touches the minute track uh, and the minute hand is just a tiny bit longer um, the hands are beautiful they're heat blued really stunning but it just bothers me a bit that the hour hand um, is too long or the minute hand is too short or they're just very very close in length so um, as beautiful a watch as it is if I were going to sell one I think it would be this one now the timekeeping is fantastic this is the model with the ETA 2801 um, if you buy one of these now I think it comes with a Solita SW200 um, still a good movement uh, but these are fantastic both of uh, both the manual ones that I have uh, keeping time to within a second a day so they are really really excellent timekeepers um, so the case is held up well after a year of, of use obviously they're in rotation so that none of them are daily wearers um, but no scratches no real marks to note um, it is a great watch uh, keeps time excellently power reserve is fantastic um, and it's a stunning watch just uh, of the four maybe my least favorite um so moving on to the uh prs 29 a um another beautiful field watch style uh, military inspired um but for my money slightly better proportions on the hands there um uh, I'll put some loom shops up also this one these three have loom on them uh, the air ministry has no loom uh, it's not a deal breaker by any means but um, just in case you were wondering uh, so yeah the um, PRS 29A fantastically legible excellent proportions again 36 millimeters it has that ETA movement uh, the case is a little bit on the sharp side especially compared to the automatics, which have this nice rounded case. Um, but again, that's super nitpicky. Um, they wind nicely. Crown is a reasonable size to grip, although on a 36 millimeter case, it's always gonna be a small crown. Um, got the drilled lugs, 18 millimeter lugs. These come with um, a NATO band. Oh, so I've put them on these leather straps. Um, but yeah, again, this is a this is a beautiful watch. It keeps fantastic time, excellent power reserve, um, one of the one of my favourite pieces in the collection at the moment. Uh, moving on now to the automatic pair, um, the Everest Expedition with the white face and again heat blued hands and that red second hand that just pops out. Had some comments on a previous video uh, 
not in, not liking the red second stand, but I think it really a uh, standout feature of the watch. Uh, these are automatic. They have the Miyota 9039, so there is no ghost date position uh, on the uh, setting. The uh, crown is signed, but the crown on these two is even smaller than on the manual wind pair. Uh, and it is, it's one of the only flaws. The crown is quite difficult to, uh, to operate. Um, not such a huge problem because if you're wearing it every day, they're automatic, so it should stay wound. Um, in my experience, both of these, the power reserve is okay. It, it's fine overnight. I haven't uh, tested it for days. Um, timekeeping, not as accurate as the two ETA powered watches, but fine within a few seconds a day. Perfectly acceptable. Um, the case is has this is a nicely polished rounded case, so possibly more comfortable to wear. Um, although they're all extremely comfortable because they're very light, very small watches, 36 millimeters. Um, and again, there's just the uh, perfect legibility of this watch and the proportions. I think that's uh, that's a keeper. And on to my last purchase, which was the Everest um, Blackface 36 millimeter. Obviously, this is a 1016 inspired or homage watch. Uh, it has the same rounded case, domed crystal, and the Miyota 9039 movement. Um, and again, this is uh, 36 millimeters, very nicely proportioned, very legible keeps time well um, and if you like the uh, the automatic powered movements over the manual ones then perhaps this is the one to go to um, now of the four only the Everest expedition is showing as in stock on the time factors website at the moment uh, the Everest I think is coming back in mid-august um, and the the two manual ones are they're both saying sold out um, I don't think there's a date for when these are coming back in, but um, if you sign up for the newsletter on Time Factors, you will get updates on, on stock availability and so on. Um, in terms of the bracelets, they are wearing well. Again, these are not um, daily wears for me, but they are in the rotation. So I was expecting the polished sides of the clasp to be a weak point. They have picked up uh, scratches a bit hard to catch them you can see there a little bit of wear on the bracelet but overall um, not bad at all given that this one is almost a year old now um, and this one is just over a year old and apart from a few hairline scratches the clasps are holding up really well as are the cases and the crystals all perfect um, all right, guys, so that's just a quick roundup of my first year's experience with all of these uh, great Smiths watches. Um, please stay tuned for more watch content, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.